Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, these breakup rumors, this hot mess of a situation. But before we get into the latest rumors, we need to take a trip down memory lane. Because when we take a trip down memory lane, it could potentially explain how this is going to fare out depending on what takes place next. So you guys will recall back in 2018 when Rihanna was still involved um, and allegedly rumored to be engaged to the um, Saudi billionaire Hassan, Rihanna did a Vogue interview that came out in October of 2019. And that was when she finally confirmed that she was in an exclusive relationship with him and was discussing her dream wedding dress and said, quote, yeah, I'm dating. I'm actually in an exclusive relationship for quite some time and it's going really well. I'm so happy. Um, this is also when she was asked if she wanted kids. She said, without a doubt. Also, she was talking about, you know, what was going to take place in terms of how she wants to go about having kids and also what her dream wedding dress, who she wants to collab with on said wedding dress and everything else. It was a whole expose, right? Now, this article came out in October, but usually with celebrities, they do these interviews like a month, sometimes two months in advance, right? Um, because all of these publications have certain big time, you know, deadlines in terms of when they get out certain covers. Like, you know, for instance, with Vogue, it's always, you know, the infamous May cover, the infamous September cover, and so on and so forth. So these interviews take place a little bit earlier than that um, to then edit everything and get the editorials, get the photo shoots, everything in line by that deadline. And so the reason I bring this up is because literally not even less than two months after this article comes out, we get the breakup announcement in January of 2020 that Rihanna and Hassan Jamil broke up. So how do we go from wedding planning in that October article that was probably really done around September, October, and then we fast forward to January and it's over? And keep in mind with these celebrities, a lot of times when they announce these breakup announcements and these weddings and things of that nature and these engagements, it usually happens earlier than what we know. But However, they choose to coordinate with their team is how they do the press release. So it was likely that Rihanna and Hassan Jamil had already been broken up prior to the January announcement, but it got to a point where it was too obvious at that point that they weren't being spotted together anywhere. They were nowhere near each other and everything else. So the announcement had to come out at that point in time. And Allegedly, it was because, you know, also Hassan Jamil was looking to move on as well. And so the reason I bring that up in particular, because as of late, especially Rihanna's not as forthcoming, you know, with her personal life and this and that. And it's to the point that we have to wait for these types of Vogue interviews for her to really confirm or deny anything about these alleged rumors, about these alleged people she's dating or hooking up with or what have you. And so this is the first time she, I felt, officially confirmed in the Vogue article that just came out a couple of days ago that she was, in fact, with ASAP Rocky. That they basically bonded over the pandemic starting in 2020. He was helping her get over a breakup because remember, January 2020, we started to, you know, really hit um, the beginning stages of COVID because remember we were, it didn't hit the U.S. yet, right? It was starting to trickle into the U.S. from overseas. And then about, you know, February-ish on is when we started to get those cases and then things started to then transpire we started to accelerate with how serious and severe the pandemic was and everything else and so rihanna says in this vogue article that came out a couple days ago 
that, you know, basically, since she had just announced that breakup in January, she was still dealing with the breakup of being with this guy for a couple of years. And essentially, ASAP Rocky was her shoulder to cry on. They had been friends for years. She had friend zoned him a pl- bunch of times and everything else and then something changed to where their relationship grew deeper there were more feelings involved they took this big road trip during the pandemic and got significantly closer and this and that and um you know then she was asked whether or not the baby was planned but basically he was uh somebody that was in the friend zone several times to now is going to be the father of her child um, and who's very long, and Rihanna is very far along in this pregnancy, you guys. And so there were rumors that something wasn't right. And this was even before the rumors of breakup rumors were starting these past couple days, right? Because some people thought, oh, maybe people are just hating on this Vogue uh, magazine article and this and that. Because I guess also ASAP Rocky had FaceTime Rihanna in the middle of the interview and everything else. And there was just like a lot of good nuggets in there. But my takeaway when Rihanna was even talking about ASAP Rocky, and that's why I read these quotes in particular from what she had said just in 2019 about Hassan Jamil. It was not the same thing. It was not the same level of love and adoration and marriage and everything else. It was kind of like, if it happens, it happens. I'm focusing on this kid. But it wasn't the same energy literally two years ago. um, Well, now two and a half years ago where, you know, she is very much, you know, all in, you know, really looking forward to the future, to marriage and everything else where this is kind of like, this is my friend turned lover and he's the father of my kid and we'll just kind of, you know, take whatever from there. So that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know how I feel about that because that's not the same way that Rihanna usually gushes about the men that she claims. And I was very kind of like, "Mm, something's not right here. And I don't know if you guys follow, um, and I'm probably going to butcher this gossip name, please forgive me. But it's called um, Demoy. Demoy. I want to say it's called. Oh my gosh, Lord help me, Demoy. Anyways, um, they post a lot of celebrity news and gossip. But the reason that I am referencing them in particular is because they had the story. I want to say this was maybe like a week ago, a week or a couple weeks ago. And what it was, was that somebody basically had spotted Rihanna and ASAP Rocky at Craig's in L.A. And, you know, Craig's is a big time restaurant. A lot of celebrities go to those of you who are not familiar. And basically what will happen is when some of these fan sightings or insider sightings will see some of these A-listers at, you know, regular schmegular restaurants or at the airport or out somewhere with their family and they run into these celebrities, a lot of them will try to take sneak pics or sneak video and everything else and they'll send it to this particular gossip site and they'll post a lot of these blind items, they'll post a lot of these exclusives and so the caption had read at the time, it said Rihanna and ASAP at Craig's LA, Rihanna at Craig's with ASAP Rocky on Friday, Um, Kicks Booth cried at table at one point and left out the back, anonymous. So that was very concerning to me because it was like, and a lot of people wrote it off and said, oh, well, maybe this is just pregnancy hormones and everything else. But it didn't sound like it was something that would be like Rihanna to have a breakdown like that in public or be so upset to the point that she's leaving immediately outside of the restaurant and a lot of people brushed it off and thought uh you know maybe people are just trying to drum up some fake news maybe some people are jealous in this and that and everything else but it always stuck with me that something wasn't right right that something wasn't all the way there and then there was another blind item that came out on um the other day from crazy days and nights that said the following this had this foreign born um, one name permanent Ayla singer who doesn't sing any longer definitely can hold a grudge. She has a favorite shoe designer, loves those shoes. Our singer doesn't know her very fast rapping boyfriend has an on again, off again thing 
with the shoe designer. And so that again is a, another place that is, you know, kind of alluding to these rumors. And so then today, um, you know, the shade room picks up an article that um, was coming from Twitter because there were two people on Twitter who were posting breakup rumors, you guys. So the first guy that had posted it the other day, he basically um, knows Rihanna's stylist and basically said, you heard it here first, that Rihanna and ASAP Rocky have broken up and this and that. And what ended up happening was basically the Navy, you know, because everybody like you guys go hard in the paint and there's no it's no shade. Right. But it's it's crazy when you hear things that you do not like about some of your favorite celebrities. And instead of, you know, either just taking it for what it is and just moving forward or waiting to see whether or not it could potentially be true, you guys just go in for the attack. And so what ended up happening was he stood 10 toes down. He was like, listen, he was like, you know, I deleted the tweet because you guys are out of control. Um, but don't be shocked when the news drops. And, um, you know, and basically said, hey, do yourself a favor and follow me on Instagram because that's where all of the action happens. But everybody was coming for him. And so then today, another source comes out, another source that also is affiliated in the fashion industry by the name of Louis, Louis Roma. Um, he is being referenced in both the Shade Room post as well as, you know, the post on Twitter and everything else. And he had something to say. And basically, he said a few hours ago, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky have split. Rihanna broke up with him after she caught him cheating with shoe designer Amina. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm going to probably butcher her last name, but her name is Amina. And the interesting thing about this is Amina, she has done some collaborations with Rihanna for Fenty. Also, she has some collaborations allegedly with ASAP Rocky because Rihanna was slowly trying to get this dude employed and get him involved in other ventures, but allegedly they have a history, him and the shoe designer, to where they've been off and on or they're well acquainted with each other in some capacity and this and that. And so, um, you know, people are trying to piece together, you know, what is true, what isn't, because people are confused. Because Rihanna is still wearing literally this woman's shoes that she collaborated with. Uh, however, rumors are speculating that this is the woman that allegedly, you know, is sleeping with ASAP Rocky. So a lot of people, you know, are confused. A lot of people think it's fake news because Rihanna is still wearing her shoes and everything else. But you just, you never know with these celebrities, you guys, to keep it real. But... I will say, even if it's not this woman, where there's smoke, there's fire. Because usually rumors like this don't explode. Usually it gets shut down. And if it gets to the point that it's reaching the shade room, then it's like, well, wait a minute. Like, why are we now posting this on the shade room? Because usually the shade room is pretty good about waiting till they have confirmation on things. Or if they have a celebrity insider that basically gives them the go ahead to post things. So that's why I was waiting to see, OK, is there going to be like a larger publication than what originally picked up the Twitter person story? And sure enough, they did. And basically the shade room said Rihanna trends as. Twitter users react to rumor that she and ASAP Rocky allegedly broke up and they reference the article that is from a blog, a hip hop blog, I believe, called Kirko. And um, again, they're referencing, you know, the tweets and everything else from these fashion people um, who, like I said, are followed by Rihanna's stylist. Um, so a lot of people are going crazy. A lot of people do not know what to believe. They don't know if this is true. They don't know if this is fake news for the people who can not stand um, ASAP Rocky to begin with. They believe it because they feel as though 
this validates everything that they have been concerned about in terms of previous comments that ASAP Rocky has made in the past about him being a colorist, about black women not needing to wear red lipstick, that it didn't look good on them, about him not being supportive of Black Lives Matter and saying that he doesn't know anything about that because he lives in Soho and all this other nonsense. So a lot of people felt as though, and then allegedly with, of course, the um, blonde white woman or whoever who kept releasing sex tapes around any time there was like an ASAP Rocky announcement. And um, it was just very weird. And it was just like people were confused because everybody was like, well, Rihanna, you are a billion dollar brand with all of these things going for yourself. Like, why are you involving yourself with the likes of ASAP Rocky? A lot of people were in denial. A lot of people thought, okay, maybe this is casual. Maybe this is like a friends with benefits situation. Maybe this is just a rebound situation to where she's not fully over her ex or something in that capacity. And then when the news dropped that she was pregnant, then it was like everything kind of shifted and everybody was really shook and everybody was like, OK, like, is it serious? Are they going to get married? Like, what's the tea? And as of the past few weeks, the tea is there is trouble in paradise. That's what the tea is. However, we do not know the extent of it. But if ASAP Rocky not only cheating, but also cheating on somebody while they're pregnant, like that's just a whole new level of a disgusting person. right? But um, but with that being said, again, this is just alleged. This is just a rumor. As of now, Rihanna or her people have not come out to confirm things. But that's not to say that this isn't true or there isn't an ounce of truth in this, because it's very odd that multiple people now are picking up this story in some in a major place such as the shade room is even posting this is very interesting and also um you know there's been a few other gossip sites that have basically um haven't fully shut this down right haven't fully shut this down as this being completely false um you know but basically they're not getting much from rihanna's camp at the moment which is you uh, usually unusual usually Rihanna's camp pretty much is quick to confirm things. They quickly, you know, say things and reveal things. Remember, um, Rihanna's best friend, Melissa, she originally liked one of the um, pregnancy speculation posts. And this was way back before Rihanna officially confirmed her pregnancy. Melissa immediately liked the post. And then I think Rihanna or somebody called her and was like, WTF. And then she immediately unliked it um, because obviously she has lots of followers and, you know, Rihanna navy fans who know melissa and everything else were screenshotting it and everything else and posting about it and posting that melissa was confirming she's pregnant because she liked the post and this and that so and then people think because rihanna tagged asap rocky in her vogue post the other day that that means that they're still together but really to me all it means is that he's the father of her baby like rihanna also tagged LeBron James when he was in the NBA finals when she was rooting um you know for him to win the championship she tagged him in a bikini photo so I don't put any stock into that I mean the guy's the father why wouldn't she tag him on her belly like they created the child they conceived the child together so I don't understand um why people are making a big deal of that but we will wait and see if there is more fallout, if there is more things that come of this, because it is very interesting, you know, and it and it's unfortunate because it's like, I want Rihanna to have obviously a safe, healthy, happy pregnancy. But the way that this story kind of just blew up because I didn't even want to touch it because I was like, ah, I don't know about this. And then, like I said, once more people started to pick up the story, I'm like. That's not usually the case. Like usually some of these major areas kind of wait until they hear something from Rihanna's people. And the fact that they're kind of still kind of treading it a little bit, like still kind of putting it out there, but not fully putting it out there tells me there's something to this, but maybe it might not be 
the right person that allegedly was the person that ASAP Rocky cheated with, right? But maybe there was some type of infidelity that took place. Maybe there is a breakup that has taken place um, that also is correlated to this, um, you know, crying and running out of crags in LA a few weeks back and everything else. And then other people are reporting that, you know, basically ASAP Rocky has been moving really shady since um paris fashion week that he's just been um you know not moving right so it's just it's very wild you guys it is very wild and this couldn't come at a worse time for rihanna as she looks like she is about to be due to have this baby very soon um but i want to say this if this does end up being true if this does end up being the case and rihanna has broken up with asap rocky for whatever reason she has to move on from rappers like period point blank period i thought she was going in a certain direction with you know dating this um you know saudi billionaire and everything else that she was going to date men that were more on that type of caliber not necessarily having to be in the entertainment industry or what have you, but it's just, I just was so confused as to with everything that she's been through with Drake and even the drama and everything else with Chris Brown and just everything else that why would you go from all of that and then decide, okay, let me give ASAP Rocky a chance. Like just the logic to me was not there at all. And that's what happens when you are not fully healed from a long-term breakup right from a long-term relationship ending and then you think that the person who is there comforting you and being there for you is all of a sudden your your match made in heaven your soulmate but sometimes those people have ulterior motives as well sometimes they are playing their position to get what they want so it's just it's a lot involved you guys it's a lot of layers to all of this especially the history of asap rocky drake rihanna and everything else in terms of their friendships and how rihanna found out about drake having um the child with the former porn star slash stripper whoever um that is drake's baby's mama because it's funny now all of these drake memes are trending since these rumors are coming out and everybody is just having a field day with this if in fact rihanna is single but this is just awful this is just awful and this is why it is so important, you guys, to really understand who you are about to commit the rest of your life with if you are laying down conceiving a child. And what happens and what made me concerned as well was when Rihanna recently has been really on this, I don't care if I, whether I'm married or not, I don't care whether I'm single or not, I want a baby because I'm in my 30s. I felt that was a disaster. I felt that was a disaster because it sounded as though to me that Rihanna wanted a baby more than she wanted a man. And if she's just going to get pregnant by whomever, that could spell trouble, regardless of who it was, right? Because it didn't sound like a person who was fully in the right mindset to fully devote themselves to a committed relationship. And if you truly were being honest and following whatever this was with ASAP Rocky, there were gaps in time where they were not together. There were important occasions where ASAP Rocky was nowhere to be found in terms of certain celebrations that were happening with Rihanna and her family and certain honors and things that Rihanna was receiving. ASAP was nowhere to be found. It was just more recently that they started to be out in public a lot more um, and started to be together on a lot of more of a regular basis. And that was because they got back together and were more, you know, on the same page at that point. But all of this uncertainty, all this drama um, is not a good sign, is not a good sign at all. And like I said, if Rihanna does end up breaking up with ASAP Rocky or if they're already broken up if we get an announcement 
like in a couple of months that they're over um because that's probably what will happen with these celebrities it's like they're not going to come outright confirm it unless it's like too overwhelming in terms of the news and everything else and taking away from you know her pregnancy of course then she might confirm it sooner but i just hope she leaves rappers alone after this and i just don't understand because there are so much better men and um you know not even in the entertainment industry right they don't even have to be celebrities but just better men overall that would have done right by rihanna that wouldn't have screwed this up that would not have fumbled this hard right so that is the thing and that's and one other thing i wanted to note before i wrap up is one thing about rihanna that i'm concerned about is her lack to have a stronger team that denies rumors that has you know her pr on lock like say what you want about the carter say what you want even about the smiths until recent years but their pr was on point for a very long time to where their tea was teflon you could not get through um until eventually obviously certain people start to quit certain people you know no longer start to work with celebrities and they all kind of rotate around and everything else but rihanna has kept some of these same people in her inner circle that do not have the expertise of being actual pr people that you know for wanting the clout, for wanting the attention, they don't mind spilling to random bloggers and random people in the industry about what Rihanna's true tea is. And that's very messy. That is a very messy situation because people who are around you, people who are working for you, people who are working with you should not be having a blab mouth to anyone and everyone telling your business. You should have a secure team in place to where everything's Teflon with how everything's been rolled out for Rihanna's skincare line, for her makeup line, for her lingerie line. That should be the same process for her personal life for any negative rumors about her and even her music career because the last album she put out it was leaked somebody leaked it somebody was trying to sabotage rihanna and it ended up obviously being one of her you know most critically acclaimed albums still on the charts as of today but Rihanna's got to tighten up like she's too old at this point and I don't mean this in a bad way like she's old but I mean she's been in this industry long enough to know that this I don't care I'm a savage attitude you have to you have to throw it out you have to think in the mind of a woman who is worth billions of dollars and you have to think about your brand and how you're representing yourself and what your consumers are that are supporting you think that you're representing and rihanna's personal life especially with this whole thing um but overall has just been messy right there hasn't been like this fairy tale anything it's been a very short honeymoon phase for all of these situationships and then things completely combust and go completely left and um so i'm just hoping with this because now this is a child involved now you are bound to asap rocky for life no matter what happens you gotta tighten up your people you gotta tighten up your people because you can't have all these rumors and all of these things constantly coming out about you and you just ignoring it and not caring what anybody says about you you're worth a billion dollars. You need to have a team in place that is going to treat you like you're worth a billion dollars. Because this should have immediately been shut down if it's not true. So there's that. Um, but let me know your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think about these breakup rumors? And do you think there's, there's any ounce of truth of it? What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.